Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in the Lottie Files course for designers. In this video, we're gonna learn everything there is to knowing about images, how to export Lottie Files with images and how to use them in different platforms. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples over here to make it a lot easier. Now, before I get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video if you haven't done already. Okay, as you can see over here, this is one of uh, Unacademy's fun websites that they made a couple of months ago. And the whole thing is actually a bunch of Lottie animations combined. So if the first of all, this whole section is a Lottie animation itself. And if I scroll, as I scroll, the whole animation just keeps happening. And it's not really animating if I'm not doing anything. It animates on scroll. And this was made in Webflow. And they definitely used uh, a Lottie animation to do this. Um, example, as you can see, each of these sections are different Lottie animations, right? So this is one of the styles um, or the effects that you can sort of have on your website if you're using Lottie animations. And to quickly give you an example, if I go to inspect, um, and uh, you can see over here that uh, they've used a Lottie animation and then you can see that they've used this .json file that you see over here. So pretty much this entire thing is a Lottie animation, right? So that is one example. Now here is another example on Webflow's website where they have a combination of images and shape layers. So for example, you can see that all of these things are shape layers. You've got uh, the uh, cursor, which is a shape layer. You might have a couple of other things also as shape layers. Now here I'm in the Lottie editor. I'm gonna make a separate video on the Lottie editor, but basically what I've done is I've downloaded that JSON animation from um, the lot from Webflow's website and I've imported that over here. And as you can see, these are all the layers that make this animation. And most of these are shape layers, but we also have, for example, this image strip.png, that's a um, image layer. Uh, then we've got here as well, some gradient, that's an image layer. You've got a couple of these um, images also, uh, which are image layers, all right? So it's a combination nation of both. Now I'm going to now, I'm not going to show you how to make these animations in Webflow or anything like that. There are separate tutorials on it on how to use these Lottie animations and create that FX. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. But most importantly, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Lottie animation so that you can then import it into Webflow and other places. All right. So here I am in After Effects. And as you can see, this is the animation that we made. Actually, this was the animation that we made in uh, the previous video. You can see we've got this super cool, techy, fun stroke reveal animation. Um, and what I've done. I've gone ahead over here into another composition and I've just taken that same animation and I have added a few effects, right? So I've gone ahead and rotated it, right? I've added some rotation, some 3D rotation and 3D rotation, as you can see over here, is not really supported by Lottie and I'm going to show you that with an example. I've also added this gradient ramp effect, as you can see over here, if I go to the effects section um, and I put this on, you can see there's a gradient ramp effect. So basically it's a little bit darker on the top and then it becomes white at the bottom, right? And this again is not supported by Lottie. Now I've already gone ahead and exported this as a Lottie animation. I'm going to show you and I'm going to preview that and show you how it looks. All right, now I'm gonna play this. And as you can see over here, uh, on the left, I have um, iOS. Oops, let me play that again. Uh, all right, let's pause, okay. So on the left, uh, we have iOS. I don't know, why, why can't I see the information? Um, I'm gonna, let me go to, uh, turn this on, all right. Yeah, so this is the web player, and then I'm gonna put on the iOS player. So the iOS player is on the left, and then the web player is on the right. And as you can see over here, that in the iOS player, the corners are not rounded. We don't have the ramp effect anywhere. And uh, also the 3D animation is working only on the web player. As you can see, the 3D animation is only working on the web player and not on the iOS player, right? So if you're using this only for web, maybe it might work. But if you're using it for iOS apps or Android apps, there's a very good chance that 3D animations won't really work, right? So if you have an animation like this, right? And you want to export it as an image sequence in order to use it on Webflow or any other platforms like that, you can do it. So. I'm going to show you what you need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is export this animation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to the render queue and I'm going to choose from high quality. I'm going to change that to uh, um, PNG sequence and make sure to turn on RGB plus alpha because obviously we want an alpha channel and then you want to go ahead and export it. Now I've already gone ahead and exported because obviously it takes time to export it. And once you do that, you can come here to the project settings. You can double click and you can import your animation. Just make sure that you select the first one and then you turn on PNG sequence, check this on and then that's going to go ahead and import this for you. And I've taken this, added it into a brand new composition, as you can see over here, and all of this are basically image sequences, right? Each of these are individual images. Now, what you want to do next is you want to select this, you want to go to window, you want to choose uh, extensions, and you want to choose Lottie files. And here you want to choose the respective composition. Now, um, the one that we want to export is the cred 
uh, 3D PNG sequence. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is make sure that the settings are right. Now, I'm not going to click on this one over here because this, the moment I click on this, it's going to start rendering and it takes forever to render and it takes a long time to render out the PNG sequences. So I'm just going to pick another one over here to quickly show you everything. You want to come here to the assets section. You want to make sure you choose include assets in JSON file. Very important because everything is an asset over here. Uh, you can choose to keep the original asset names. That's completely up to you. Copy original assets. That's also not something that I'm caring about. Um, then you have skip exporting of images. Sometimes you might use images just to sort of guide the animation and so that you have something to reference from and you don't want to export the images. So you can turn that off. You can turn that on if you want to skip images. But in this case, we actually want the images. So I'm not going to turn this on, right? We want the images, all right? And then you go back and then you just click on render. It's going to take some time and then it's going to render it out. And then you're going to have your Lottie animation, which is going to take a significant amount of time depending on the length of your video. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is open this up. Now I've already gone ahead and exported that as a JSON file. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to come down here to cred 3 effects sequence.json. I'm going to open that up. It's going to take a while to load, I guess. All right, uh, there we go. I'm going to quickly change the background color so that, so that we can see this better. And there you go. You have the, we have the 3D animation and we also have the ramp effect um, as you see over here, right? So if I can sort of uh, go ahead and come over here and we can see over here that we have the, uh, the same pretty much the ramp effect and we also have the 3D effect, right? Now, this is what we have. All right, so here I am in Framer and I'm gonna show you how to import these animations into Framer. You can also do this on Webflow and obviously I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for you to check that out. Uh, but I'm gonna make this in Framer now. So you're gonna to go to Insert and you can choose Lottie and just add that as a Lottie animation over here. And um, I'm gonna, I've actually taken it for the desktop and the phone breakpoint as well, just to show that how it looks. Um, and I'm not, sure, I'm not gonna go ahead and set this up carefully and you know scale it and make sure that it looks perfect. That's not the point of this video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and here we have two options. You can actually import the source file uh, from the URL or you can upload it over here. Now, I'm gonna show you both. So first I'm gonna upload it, so I'm gonna choose file, and I'm gonna come here to the Lottie file section, and I'm gonna choose um, cred 3 effects uh, sequence or JSON, and as you can see, it says there's a maximum file size of 5 MB, right? Now, the file size of this is quite large. Obviously, it's an image sequence. You can still optimize it and reduce the file size. I'm going to show that in a separate video. But another option that we can try is just to get it from the source URL. So I'm going to go to my Lottie Files dashboard, import it over there, and then copy the link and paste it over here. So I've imported the image sequence here, uh, as you can see over here, and I am going to come to info. Actually, where do we find that? I think it's in share. Uh, Oh, I think it's an embed over here. All right, so we're gonna turn on enable asset link and that's going to go ahead and get this asset link for us. I'm going to copy this, um, obviously stop this and then come back to Framer. And then I'm gonna come to the URL and then paste that link and then press enter. And now as you can see, it's a JSON file. Okay, so now you can see the animation is happening and it looks amazing. Now, obviously there are a couple of things that you can do. You can choose to loop this on if you want. Uh, you can change the direction. You, wanna, you can change the speed and a lot of these other settings. I'm not going to get into all of that. And if I go here and play this, uh, you can see that the animation plays over here. This can be some sort of a loading animation and uh, it looks uh, pretty, pretty solid if, if you ask me. And I can obviously go down to the mobile uh, breakpoint as well and you can see it uh, works um, here as well. And I think uh, that's uh, pretty cool. So that's everything that you need to know about using images in Lottie animations. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And we'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.